You know what my favorite holiday drink is? Eggnog and root beer. Hey, everybody. It's a little bit early for season's greetings, I know, but it's not too early if you've got a big project that you're working on and you need everybody's help for it. And I do. You might recall that last year I was putting together a Christmas tree for the children's hospital, or rather to raise money for the children's hospital, and that failed to launch for a couple of different reasons. Because of that, I've still got a Christmas tree and uh, lights to put on it, but this year I've managed to put together something else, including something to put under the Christmas tree a Monoprice Voxel 3D printer from my friends at Monoprice. Now, of course, I've also got a lot of ornaments from you guys to put on there and lithophanes that clip onto the lights, and I'm super excited to put those on there. But uh, if I can be, you know, totally honest about this, it's not enough. I need a lot more. Now, I'm going to beef this up as much as I can by putting some of my Chibi Mall prints on there, my full color Chibi Malls, just all of them that I've got. I'm also going to put a lot of low poly dinos. Suffice it to say, there's going to be a lot of Chibi Malls and low poly dinos on this tree, but I'd also like to have more of your ornaments to put on there. I really loved the 3D prints that I was getting from you guys in the community, and I'd like to see more of them on there. If you'd like to participate, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. One, I will be at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival this weekend, and if you happen to be going, and if you happen to have a couple of nice prints that you'd like me to put on the tree, I will take them there and take them back with me. Now, if you don't happen to be convenient to the East Coast Rep Rap Festival or aren't going, of course, there's my mailing address that you can mail those to, and I will accept those right up until, well, right up until just after Thanksgiving when the Festival of Trees will start and bidding will begin on this Christmas tree. So, yeah, I, I might need to get them in until then, but this is my address. You guys can send that to me, and if you have any other questions, of course, there's the comment section, and there's contact me links on the about page here on YouTube. I'm really looking forward to this tree being a huge success, and I really want to see it take off like crazy, so I hope that you guys will help, this, help me with this, and uh, we'll get to raise some good money for the Children's Hospital. I want to thank the Holiday Zone for providing the Commodore 64 themed background in this video. I really appreciate them having that video out there. And I want to remind you guys, as always, when you're hanging up the mistletoe or putting up that tree, remember safety first, because I care about you and I want to see you having a happy holiday all through, you know, October, November, December and on to the rest of the year. I'll see you guys next time. What did you guys think of that? That video is going to be going live on YouTube uh, in just a little while. Oh, let me get my fill light in. Hey, hey guys. Uh, so yeah, that video is going to be going live on YouTube in just a little while here. Uh, because, yeah, I'm doing the Christmas tree project again. It's going to be a bit tough because these, uh, this Christmas tree, uh, the Festival of Trees is nowhere near, well, it's near me, but it's still a little bit away uh, to get that set up. But I'm going to make it happen this year. Last year I tried, and it didn't happen. But uh, what else are we working on? I'm getting ready for the East Coast Rep Rap Festival today. Um, and... You know, so I, I, I've got this funny little project that I'm working on. Uh, I don't know if this is if this is cool. Oh, can't see it because it's yellow and it's getting cut out by the green screen. Although that's a really neat effect, actually. It's a ghost head. Ooh. Oh, can I can I get it lined up with my own head? We're having too much fun here. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to do because it's all mirrored. Anyways, well, I can't show you that. I've got a... So with the current fiasco with uh, Lego and stuff like that, yeah, 
green tie doesn't work either. I've made, I've taken my head and put a put a peg up the middle of it so you could potentially put it on a uh, yeah, it's invisible filament. I've taken it in. No, it's yellow and green, but I've got a green screen behind me so you all can't see that. Uh, would you guys like to see what you're missing? Here we go. Here's what the world looks like in real life. There's my microphone. So if I go like this, uh, but I have to put a fill light on there. And I, I sewed this sock all by myself. Uh, pretty proud of that. Let's turn that back on. Now it disappears, but you can see if I put my hand there. Isn't that kind of neat? But there we go. So I'm getting ready. So I have 3D printed heads that, you know, they, they've got a peg in the bottom of them, a hole in the bottom of them. And if you happen to slide those onto uh, a current popular interlocking building bricks mini figure body, they would fit just by chance, just completely lucky. I've also put uh, I've also put a tie on there because I wear ties. And you know what was interesting was this particular brand of interlocking bricks didn't already have a necktie. They had a bow tie, but not a necktie. So that was pretty cool. So I got that all figured out. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, you know, print as many of those as I can today, put them in my pocket and think about it. Or I expect they won't last long. I'm probably not going to be building enough of them because I had this idea far too late. But that'll be my handout while I'm at Earth. So if you catch me at Earth and say hi, uh, I will I will hand you one of those. Meanwhile, let's jump over and start doing some 3D modeling. Oh, and look at that. I've got something new for you guys here. That's your space right over there. That's your canvas. You guys can do with it as you please. But, you know, keep it nice. Keep it simple. We're all friends here. Uh, what happened? What happened to the... Do you want to do you want to try typing something and seeing if it comes back? I don't know. If it disappears, that's awful. So I've been working on the genie for the past couple of weeks. I finished that up last week. I have not printed it yet. I want to print it on the Da Vinci Color, but there's a lot of stuff in the front of the Da Vinci Color right now while I while I'm getting things set up. I'll get that taken care of when I get back from it. But I'm gonna go back and do some cheap and mall modeling. If you guys have another challenge that you'd like me to take on, that's great. I'll do that. But I'm going to start with, uh, with Bolson here. I want to change Bolson a little bit. But first, what I want to change on Bolson is I set him up for multi-material printing. And for a lot of reasons, that didn't work. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to change... Basically, all I'm doing is I'm changing it from difference to union right there. And we're putting things on that were taken off. So there's the nose. The feet are already unioned on. Good. We'll put that in there. Stick that in there. Let's see. Oh, and I know what's happening there. Uh, the gears are already unioned on. We're going to union on. Wait, I don't want them unioned on. They shouldn't be. Ah, but we're going to get rid of the spots. No spots on Bolson anymore. Because we're going to take Bolson to the Vinci. So, and we're going to modify him in here. Look at that. Two floor differences. Maybe that's what we're talking about right there. All right, are we missing anything on Bolson? Yeah, we're missing the mouth. We're missing the mouth. Put that back on. We'll just copy this one and grab the fill screen. Oh, that needs a root. No, no. We need the back too. All right, here we go. Hey, electronics got to get back on board. I didn't see. I'm going to do a quick test. This is a test. Oh, no. 
see you. I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Huh, only the most recent messages show up and the rest disappear. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to take this chat window. So this can be a little bit editing just a little bit. I'm going to go to the ending because it'll be made for that. Electronic side, this is the, uh, if you guys haven't seen, um, oh no, <laughs> I don't want that to go up, I need to upgrade my chat, so we don't have to do this, so that's not it, <laughs> that's not it, how is this, is it alert, no, okay, here's what we're going to do. Turn off everything. Sorry, I'm doing a little bit of playing in here. It's not working. What is this? Oh, that was the wrong one. That sounds weird. Well, this is actually weird. I mean, I'm not going to worry about that for right now. We're going to go back. We got, we got some modeling to do. So we're not going to worry about Figure out the chat overlay later. We're gonna figure out some ways to do this. Not the neatest thing ever to have to do it on both ends of the screen. We need this one side. Oh, that's where it is. We need that one over here. We need. Something's wrong all of a sudden with the bottom of both. Do you guys see that? All of a sudden, jump into being the problem or not being the problem? Weird. Okay, we've already got the tail. All right. Now it fixes everything. I think I know how to do this. I just have to get, it, get rid of that. And that might fix it. That might fix it, right? So we're going to fix this too. Where's the number? Here we go. So I'm, I'm basically forcing the nose to be flat here on the bottom, which is one way to do it. But we're going to want this a little down. Bump it all the way here. Make sure it's all the way up. There we go. There's our new person. I'm going to turn it over to Cleo. Now, there, I want to play with a couple of things today. I want to try something, um, which might not work. We'll see. But before we do that, I also want to... So there, there's one thing that I've been wanting to do for a while. Change some colors around. We were making a new. I'm going to use Bolson as a new table ball pit. It is now. Oh, wait a minute. I want to add some color. <laughs> I was in the wrong mood. My goodness, that is so annoying. Alright, let's grab this one off. Let's 
Should we just go black? No, I want to go white. Keep it that color. Maybe if I see the green and black, I think that changes things. Mm, I'm not fully convinced. <laughs> I'm not fully convinced. Maybe we'll come back to that one. Build a bowl. So Bolson, the bowl has already been named Bolson. That was chosen by a backer of the Kickstarter, and they got to choose the name, and they said Bolson's the name, and I said I love that name. Uh, so we named the bowl Bolson, but the cow, we do still need to name the bowl. wants to put a bow on her, but I don't want to have the world of cheater models have that sort of Actually, we don't need to do that anymore. We have plenty of that already. So we can check this one. So if you guys want to suggest names for the bowl, I'm happy I'm trying not to make it look like I'm hating on it. I just called it everything I wanted. But that looks like a good bowl. I almost, there, there's a wide open area here, and that's fine. And I should be okay with that. Part of me, part of me would like to fill that in with something. I think I have it in. Do you guys have any suggestions? I'm thinking of Curl. But we need to see. I see her hooves. I'm not sure her, her hooves should still be red. They could be. But they were red because the bowl was purple. Should I take her to a pink? Should I take her to a yellow? Orange is orange is pink actually. Let's grab the tail color as well. Or I think the tail could move toward the green as well, but maybe not the tail color. I don't want to do that bowl head actually. Can we do her wings? And then we can do these. What do you guys think? Build a bowl. I think that her eyes should be pink. I think her eyes should be pink. I think that's what I think. I think that's what we should go with. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, I don't like that tail color. I want that pink color. And I want the horns to be just a bit more red. We're just we're just
world. Grab a form and take care of that. What do you guys think? Does that look enough like a cow compared to what they can use to make it look more? I feel like the milk is the way to go. I'm not sure how or who knows how this will work. Sometimes they do something and they just go milk. I was cheating, no doubt. I took the bull and gave some meat and put it into a cow, but I like it. So there's something else I want to do here. I wanted to try something I've never done before. I want to try animating one of these animals. I'm wondering if I should start with the cow. I should probably start with either the pig or the cat, uh, based on what I want to do with I do, so, there was talk about, I've, I've been trying to think about how to tell this story of Cheetah Mall, because there is, oh, I feel like he's born, now that I'm looking at him, he's going to be so born. So I've been thinking about how to tell the world of Cheetah Mall, the story of the world of Cheetah Mall. So there is, there is a story developing in my head. Two stories, one on top of the other. And I've been wanting to tell that story for a little while. So I've been playing with the idea of what would be the best way to tell it. And I think, kind of like with low-poly dynamite, start with the color first, but I think this story is going to go beyond the color and look as well, and I like it. I wonder. I think it would be amazing if it were maybe one day animated. But in, whether I'm doing it animated or I'm doing it as a coloring book, I need to be able to pose the characters little bit more. So I'm going to play doing some rigging and I'm going to do it with with the cat because the cat already has been done. So we're going to put the cat in and I'm going to see if I can animate the cat a little bit. So he's going to be Priscilla needs to go away. I need to turn this out. I think this is the key. This is Priscilla. Where is she? Where is this key at? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's right. She needs to be done. Put it down. Play it. Okay. So. Where's the 
need to bring back This is so difficult because I can have so many things. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I have to. Oh, we don't have to. We just have to do this one first. Okay. We don't have to. Need the more stuff. What I can tell is I look over here, it's really fine. And if there is a poppy shape, say like this, with a poppy here, I know that there's something in the source for that one. The paws here, they don't shape with it a lot of times too. So there's a couple of things that have shapes in here. See, it was good to see you. I know you're probably already gone, but I'm really grateful and checking stuff. Yeah, but turn on keep that stuff too. Okay, and I'll put that stuff in there. I can now find this model again. It can only work on Krampus. Blind to the future, so the future is now. Okay. So I don't have to bring it back to our original set. Oh. Well, there's more. Now we're going to try Emily. Boy, is this going to work. I'm not even sure if it's going to work. It's going to be fun. All right. Let's do it. I think we're going to put Revo give to the mall. I don't know what my wife is going to my daughter about that she has to get you a car back today. I have a feeling she's never back that day. Okay, let's see what 
I want to add a little color up the top of the head just in case we want to add a cap or something to compare to right there. Accessory bone. I'm going to add an extra bone. And I think I do. Okay. Okay. So this is the this is the thing that I was talking about. Hey, Renaissance Tinker Bone. Good to see you, man. Uh, yeah, good to have you here. I ought to, ought to make you a moderator. Just so that we can have that here. Keep on showing up. You can barely hear my voice. My keyboard is clear now. Hmm. Interesting. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Okay. Weird. Low. That is weird. Huh. Hello. Wow. What is up? Wait, 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 wait. Are we coming in through the wrong mic? mic are we using? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a moron. This right here is the plug to my microphone. Here I am talking into the mic that you can't see. And I haven't even got it plugged in. How am I sounding now? Sorry if I blew out your... Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Shh, shh, shh. Relax, relax. Okay, how are we doing now? Fantastic. Sorry if I blew out your speakers there, guys. All right, let's get back to here. I'm trying to figure out how to... Is it clamp to? No, not clamp to. Oh, clamp two is four. Okay, I know what that is. Stretch to no camera solver no fall about pivot shrink wrap shrink wrap shrink wrap sounds good. Uh, no. All right, hold on for a second. I wonder if I have to separate this bone out. Because I wonder if this goes to the entire thing. Okay, so shrink wrap. 
to the body. So that works, I guess. No, but now if I pose this. Yeah, they're not. Okay, so I need to. Well, that's doing something. The bone's now parented, but it's not. <sighs> it's moving in a weird way. See, this bone up here should not be doing the little jiggy like that. So, yeah, pro streamer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. Okay, this is supposed to be... Set origin. Oh, I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Yes, look at that. That's what I'm looking for. So no matter where this bone points, this bone is going to stay snapped to the surface. Okay, okay. <laughs> that was exciting. Now, it's interesting. It's interesting. This doesn't have to be a bone right here. This bone object up here. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with something else. Okay. First of all, we need to... We need to... Uh, continue to work on our... Okay. And then extrude X. I do a terrible job. Okay, I got those both exactly the same size. Whoa. What? Okay. Extrude X10. Now you extrude X negative 10. And now they're perfectly straight. I don't know what the problem was. We're going to rotate this and look at the angle of it. We're going to go 60 degrees. Yeah, that'll work. Rotate this 60 degrees. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Learn to type. All right. Okay, so that's pointing at the hands. I'm excited. I'm excited by what I'm doing here. All right, we need to get the feet on there as well. Extrude X10. Extrude X10. So the Chiba Malls are going to have very... They're not going to have bone-like movement. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to describe the movement that they'll have. But it's going to be... Limited movement. Um... Hmm. I think I'm going to have to break the hands up, or the hands and the feet. Right now, they're uh, they're one object created with a mirror modifier. I think I'm going to have to just apply that mirror modifier and then separate them. There we go. So this is. This is foot left. This is foot right. Okay. I'm going to go back into edit mode on these bones because I want to... Uh... Oh, that's no good. There we go. I like this idea of this this basically being a chibi mall skeleton. <laughs> like, this is it. Uh, when they move, they move like that. Although, although, 
so many thoughts. So many thoughts. Uh, I think I'm going to add a bone for the face. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah, because I'm still rotating on the... Uh, the center point. Okay, so what I want to do is I want the face to be, I want to like be able to bone the face differently than everything else. Although, hmm, do I want the, the, like, do I want just the elements of the face to be able to move independently of, of the body or do I want them to move with the body? And I, I think I want them to move independently. Okay, so now that I've done this, I want to try something. First of all, apply this modifier. Then we're going to, in edit mode, separate by loose parts. And this is paw left. And this is paw right and we're going to have to move the origin to geometry and we're going to have to move the origin to geometry and we're going to have to move the origin to geometry and move the origin to geometry and now we're going to set object constraints and bone them Oops. cancel I do want to save. Uh, whoa, 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 not this one. Oh. I'm going to have to go back and, and change it. Oh. Cat rigged. Oh, who hit my caps lock? Some fool came in here and, and hit my caps lock. Well, glad I caught that before anything bad happened. Okay. That is a bone. I, there's got to be a better way. I don't know how. Okay, now. Like the keystrokes for that process is, is not comfortable for me. Okay. Now, do 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 shrink wrap to body shape. <gasps> that worked. Although that's not exactly where I want it. But that's okay. I can go into edit mode, move all the vertices, because it's tracking on the origin. Oh, this is so cool, guys. And gals and everybody. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, let's do this for the other foot. No, wait, the other foot's already there. So we just need to uh, shrink wrap it to the body. Then go into edit mode, select all the vertices, and move it over and down. It may not be exactly mirrored anymore, but it'll have the right idea. So now if I go into pose mode and I rotate that, look at the cat move. Now I would really like, hmm, how much do I want that though? Because I think it would be good. Well, part of me wants to make sure that the foot is always pointing down. But I think maybe that should only be for rest position because, yeah, I should be able... Feet move, right? Feet move. This is a thing that happens. Okay, so let's do the same thing for the pause here. Parent data is a bone. And the 
let's add an object constraint to it. <laughs> there has got to be a better way to do this. Okay, let's get out of there. Okay, I'm having a hard time. Parent has a bone. To add some object shrink wrap constraints on this. That's close enough. Oops, not pivot. There we go. And now we can, oops, in edit mode or in pose mode. Hey, little one. Hey, Come on. There we go. Come on. My daughter is here. Sorry about that, guys. So there we go. Yeah, now I can pose the hands just by posing the rig and I can animate it and make it do all kinds of things. This is this is wonderful. This is brilliant. The one thing that I should do, hmm, rotating the wrist. I don't know. Hmm. Nah, it's too late for that now. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Okay, just put it back. Hmm. Should I? I should. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. Should I do the same thing with the feet? I'm still learning, guys. I'm still trying to figure this out. But... Okay, let's 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 not worry about that for now. I'm wondering if I can put a second bone on the wrist and be able to like move it but also tilt it here so it can like wave within its own uh area. And I'll have to play with that. Uh, and I suppose that's what we're doing right now, but it's it's almost time to go and I want to try doing something uh here with the muzzle and the face and stuff like that. So first of all, let me make sure that those are those are not parented. Oh, and I would love for the nose and the eyes. Well, we'll do those with shape keys. We'll do those with shape keys. That'll be fun. Because I want to be able to... Well, how are these eyes? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Because the way I've got these eyes right now, that means that I can do... Yeah, look at that. This will be a... Adorable. Oh, this will be great. I can do that. Oh, shall we play with some shape keys, guys? Let's let's play with some shape keys. I thought I was... Oh, okay. I can't apply the modifier now. Okay. We're going to... We're going to play with some shape keys right now. So where's our shape keys? Particles, physics, constraints, object data. Come on, I know shape keys are in here somewhere. Those are particles. We don't need particles. Where's our shape keys? Is this only outside of edit mode? No, no. Well, now I've got to look up. I know that shape keys are a thing. Oh, here they are. They're under the, the groups. I should have known better. Okay, so this is the basis shape key. Now we're going to add a... Okay, remind me how we do this, Joe. Okay. So did we just create this shape key? Right. 
Aha, aha, aha. Now I'm wondering if I just created this. Okay. So we're going to... There we go. And this is going to be key called link. And we're going to crank the value up to one and a blink. Just like that. Blink down, blink up. Now. Oops. Let's get rid of that key, shape key. We're going to call this one happy. And for this one, set the value to one real fast so we can see it happening. For happy, they go like this. This is going to be really fun. All right, so that's our happy shape key. And back to normal. Happy. <laughs> that just makes me happy just seeing that. Oh, that's so much fun. But what we can do is we can have like 100% happy and also have them blink. Oh, that, that kind of messed it up. So we can't go 100% on that, but still. Oh, that's that's nice. All right. So we can animate shape keys. We can do all sorts of things. We can now have expressions. Would it help if I if I made the uh, the skeleton less visible? Let's make the skeleton gone. And let's get back to our eyeballs and play with our shape keys. So let's make them blink. And let's make them happy. And let's make them blink while they're happy. All right, now we're gonna have to have a new shape key and we're gonna call this key surprise. And in surprise, I'm gonna, uh, there we go. I'm gonna make them bigger and taller <laughs> uh, I don't know why that makes me so happy, but that makes me happy. Now, I wonder what a happy surprise would look like. <laughs> it works. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Uh, now, I wonder what the opposite of a happy would be. I, I don't think this would be sad. Is this sad? I'm going to call it sleep for some reason that seems in my head that seems like what it's going to be but we're going to find out no that's that's flat out sad there's no question about it that is sad that is a sad face oh my goodness I did not expect that to actually be sad Now, of course, if we do happy and sad at the same time, we get ambivalent. <laughs> yep. Nope. That's what we get. That's what we get. Oh, that's so sad. All right. I'm 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 excited by these possibilities. Uh, and then I think we got to do one more. And we're going to make you wink. And we're going to make him wink the right eye. Basically just... Just like that. Should we make him move down just a little bit? And then we go... Wink. <laughs> There's the wink. Oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. Now, what I want to do is I want to grab the skeleton. 
Uh, not that one. Where's the other armature? Okay, I've got a lot more to do, but this is this is coming along. With this, I'm going to be able to um, make make the entire thing work. I think. Uh, let's see. I'm going to parent the put the eyes to the nose. I'm going to parent the nose. I also want to. Um, I want the nose to animate. I want it to wiggle and stuff like that. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to do that with a bone? Uh, or do I want to do that with shape keys? And I think I want to do it with a bone. Yeah. But I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I might want a separate bone for the nose. Okay. There's a lot going on here and a lot of good stuff. But what I want to do, what I think would be really cool, is if I could, like, have them do like this. And just have them move within the space of the face without moving the face. I think mostly the Chiba Malls are going to, like, this is going to be the sort of animation that we're looking at. I wonder if I could also like rotate it and move it up. So I'm going to play with this. I think that the cat has a lot of possibilities. I think after the cat, I need to do um, the pig. I think the pig is the next one because the pig, I think, is going to be my... Uh, main character through the story. It was either going to be the pig or the bear, and since we started on the farm, I think it's going to be the pig. I think the bear is going to be definitely valuable in there, but I think it's going to be the... Or maybe it'll be the cat. And you know what? I should put it up to a poll to you guys and let you guys decide uh, what you want to see. Do you want to see it be the cat? Do you want to see it be the pig? But I I need to go. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do. I'm going to be at Earth this weekend. If you're going to be at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival, uh, like I said at the beginning, you guys can bring me uh, Christmas ornaments for putting in there. And we will... Uh, oops. There we go. Nope. <laughs> you know what my favorite holiday drink is? There we go. Yeah, if you guys want to come to Earth, um, or if you guys are going to be at Earth, I will take your Christmas ornaments there. If not, I will have an address that you guys can see those in. But, um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you, especially Electron Sky and Renaissance Tinker Dork and, uh, and Emoji, uh, or M, M on C, <laughs> uh, for, for joining me here today. I've got one more Chiba Mall that I need to do in the farm. I need to do the goat. And then I think we're good to go on the cheap malls for the farm release. And I'm going to get those all packaged up and out there. But thank you guys for your support. I'll see you at Earth if I see you. If not, I'll see you right here. Not next week, but the week after. And uh, thank you guys very much. Bye. <laughs>